Hi. So we've had a look at a simple guessing game. Now we're going to move it on to a create your own adventure. Now, I'm going to do this definitely the way I wouldn't normally do it. I'm going to do it the way in which we kind of followed the line by line, and then we're going to extend it to using functions. So this part is definitely not how I would create this, but it's going to show us more efficient ways of doing it afterwards. So I'm going to uh, insert a section header here, and this time round, I'm going to call this a create your own create even create your own adventure. So I've got that now and I'm going to stick in some uh, more text after this. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to remind you that lists is something new that we're going to add now are created uh, using square brackets. Uh, I was going to do this just by doing that, but it looks, oh, sorry, by doing uh, that, but it doesn't turn out well when you print it, so I'm going to leave a space in the middle. And also, you can uh, create a new line of text using forward slash n, which is forward slash n there. Um, and we're going to use functions later on. On, uh, but I'm going to add it in now uh, just as oh, using um, forward slash in. And I'm also going to add a little bit of text instead here. I'm going to drop a uh, text in here. And I'm also going to say use functions because I'm going to get there uh, with name of function. and then two brackets afterwards like that. Okay, and put underscore in here. So that's how I would uh, allow functions and functions can be called later. Okay, so we'll see why that um, will work later on when we get to it. I'm just adding the notes that this is really what we're gonna show you now. So for this next part of the code, um, I'm just gonna do a setup scenario for this. I'm gonna have to go quick if I'm gonna keep this to my kind of 15 minute limit um, and what we're going to do is create some lists now the variable variable I'm using here is yes no okay so I'm calling this list yes slash no you'll see why in a second because the list using the square brackets are the, is the text yes with a comma and no so you'll see me uh, doing it that way I'm also going to create another variable a list which is directions and it equals, we've got our square brackets in here, and I'm going to do left and right and uh, forward and back. So we can do these decision makers as we go through. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one is it makes it more efficient to do your if statements, okay? So this is gonna add with our efficiency. So here, I'm gonna start doing the introduction to my um, game here. So I'm gonna do intro. Just to remind me, we're gonna show you something different and better to do this in a minute. And the introduction is gonna say name equals, and I'm not gonna uh, bother we we now should be hopefully getting a little bit better with this we should know that we're going to do input and we should know that we're going to do uh, some sort of intro here so there we go now the only reason I've put slash n is I might want to put extra lines in so for this introduction I'm going to add them in here you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it now in fact probably you could argue that this this is less efficient I could do this all as one line with new line slashes but I'm just kind of really interchanging them both so you can see there's no real difference so yes you can keep going print 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 for a new line new line new line or we can use the forward slash new line as well uh, I've already got my name input here variable so that's kind of it if I really wanted to test this out now I could see what's your name adventurer Rory press enter and greetings Rory let's go and you can see that it doesn't really matter whether we do prints or we do forward slash for new lines we can interchange and that's why Python is good because there are different ways of doing similar things so I want to start the game 
Now, this time round, I'm just going to copy and show you what I mean by this. So this time round, I'm going to do the start of the game. And instead of my um, uh, previous ways of entering, where I would say guess and then input and then create my variable, because I'm going to list a response in a minute, I'm just going to, or, or the lists, sorry, I'm going to add them in there. I'm just waiting for a response. So here, if I play that and have a look what it looks like, Hello, Rory. Uh, can you wait, you wait your way through? But it, it's weird because nothing's really happening after that. And the reason for that is I've not kind of said what I need it to do. So while the response, because I've not, I've not called it anything yet, right? My variable is nothing. I've said, what's the response variable here? And it's nothing. So that's why nothing happened here. But what I want to say is while the response is not in, and I uh, need to make sure that my response is correct to the one up here, otherwise it won't work. While my response is not in, the yes, no variable, and you can see it, it knows that because it, it suggested it here. So it's gonna keep looping if the response isn't the one that's desired. So if my response is not nothing that isn't yes or no, it's just going to keep getting me the different error. So I don't have to write ifs for unimaginable scenarios. I'm basically saying nothing will continue unless it's one of these two options. Now, that's a slightly different way of thinking about stuff, and I like it. So when I press enter, I'm then going to say response, because I haven't even defined it now. I said it was nothing. I had to call it first, but now I'm going to say my response is the input that I'm about to give. And again, I'm not going to uh, waste our time here. I'm just gonna copy and paste some stuff straight from the other window. Would you like to step into the forest? New line, yes or no, new line. So that's all I'm talking about here. The new lines are good. You can put your spaces in if you want to, but there's no need because I want it to continue straight afterwards. So if I then do that, Rory, enter. It's asking me for my response, which is fantastic. So here, would you like to yes, no? But I haven't put a response in. There's nothing the, the program knows what to do. All it's asking me is the response. Now I need to put in my if statements. So if the response, comparing now, so double equals yes, which is one of the things that I wanted, then I want to type in uh, some sort of... Uh, response here and I'm going to have the spooky kind of response here which is you reach into the forest crows hear, uh, you hear crows cawing in the distance that's all I'm saying right um, and then I'm going to have my itself so I'm actually going to go quite fast with this and I'm going to again put this in now um, if my response is no uh, you are not ready now because I've copy and pasted it did get the tabbing a little bit incorrect so always be careful of that um, what we're saying here is so if we got yes head into the forest no you're not ready for the quest goodbye that's it it's ending now unlike before when we were in a loop um, of that nature we had the break but because we're now dealing with something outside of a loop what we want to do is just quit the game now, you can use exit for this if you wanted to. You'll see different uh, examples, breaks, quits, exits. Again, I'm just trying to show you different ways of doing the same thing. Uh, again, the else isn't aligned here because I copy and pasted, and neither is my print, so I'm just making sure that my um, conditions are always parallel and that my um, condition texts are indented within. And... The option is, if you didn't say yes or no, then they didn't understand. So this is the beauty now. Rather than trying to think of things that people would say, you're basically saying you can either type those two things in, as in while the response is not in yes and no, and that helps us to speed things up. So, you know, we can test this out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it works, and I don't want to waste our time here as we come up to the 10th minute of this one. I want to get through it. Uh, so we've got the start of the game. And then I'm going to actually copy and paste the entire 
part of the uh, next game because it's all fairly uh, generic now that we've known these skills. So the next part of my game is going to be, again, we're waiting for a response. So we've done this. Uh, the next line is once we've done these things, it moves on to the next one. Now, this is not an efficient way of doing it. I'm going to go back and use functions in the next video. But what we're saying is you've gone through these options. If it doesn't understand, it's going to keep going around. But we're going to go to the next part here. So the next part is very very similar, except for instead of while the response is not in direct in uh, yes no, we're moving it to direction. So instead of looking for a yes no, we're looking for a left right forward and backwards. Uh, that's why we've used directions here. And then print. You turn to your left and see a bay. You turn you uh, you to your right is a more forest there is a rock in front of you so i'm telling you some hints here again we probably could have done this with new lines in one print if we wanted to but just for my own peace of mind i'd just like to break it up so i'm just going this is yeah what first second third fourth line but you can use the forward slash ends so uh, there's a bit of redundancy in here but i'm just carrying on now, the response equals the input, what direction do you want to move? And then I do still have to say what the options are, but it's always going to be looking for the left, right, forward, backwards. If it's left, remember double equal signs, print that, and we're quitting. Okay, the bear eats you, so we've ended the game. Um, else, right, you head deeper into the forest, next stage of the game is going to happen because I'm not quit the game, I'm just moving on. If it's forward, again, uh, we we cannot see the wall. It's going back to the response. So this is how we loop. So basically what it's saying is you, if you go forward, you can't scale the wall. Maybe you need to do a check later on. And this is a hint for the assignment. Maybe you need to do a check if you've collected a rope or a ladder from your backpack. So we can use lists to collect things along our journey. And then we can run conditions here to say, if you have this in your backpack, then maybe you're skipping a whole part. So that's just for the future one. But right now, we cannot scale the wall, so we're going back to the response that we had. So you need to make a new choice, left, right, forward, backwards. Um, it's a messy way of doing it, and I think you'll find functions in the next video makes this, if this isn't making complete sense to you, the next video will, I think, and make this a little bit tidier. But if we go backwards, then we're backing out of the forest and quitting the game again. And if it's none of those four options of forward, left, right, back, then we try again. And that's kind of it. So uh, I could test that bit out. But again, coming up to my kind of predefined maximum 10 to 15 minute video, I'm just gonna say the last part of the demo and I'm going to make this tidier uh, next, is when you've gone on from that section here and you've made it past the initial stage, we then have the new response. And this time I'm going to call the yes, no again. And we we'll say, are you afraid? Yes, no. Response, yes. Then only a fool wouldn't be. I'm trying to persuade it. No, you should be, Rory. You should be. So these are the different options. If else is and if else is. We're you know, going quite fast now because you can pause and you can go back to the other videos to understand those other parts. I'm hoping that you're able now to decipher these. Um, I'm going to make this way more efficient in the next video, but let's test it out. So let's press play. What's your name? Rory. Uh, would you like to separate for us? No. So it says we've ended the game. Okay. Now, did it? Because here... Uh, would you like to step into the forest? Oh, yes, yeah, you are not ready for this quest. Goodbye. But it moved us on to the next part, didn't it? Because right up here, we said yes, no, and we had the conditions. But as soon as it doesn't matter what you do here, as long as you answer yes, no, it's going to only loop if you don't answer yes, no. But it actually doesn't matter what your answer is. It's always going to like pass you forward to this which is why this is a terrible way of doing it we need to have different flows of what to do so the reason i'm going to ignore that right now but this shows our error okay i'm going to stop that because i don't really want to go forward again and i'm going to play it so we're seeing now that that's why we have the issues so i'm going to answer it correctly would you like to step into the forest yes and now i can do left right forward back so you know, we had the issue which we're going to solve in the next video. Um, 
Left, I would die if I see the bear. Right is there's more in the forest. So I'm going to go right for this one just because I want to get to the end of the video. You can test out the other options yourself. Are you afraid? No. And it's going to say... Oh, just skipped right to the end. Uh, no, you should be, Rory. You should be. So that works. It's not great because what I've not allowed it to do is skip sections. So right here, when I said that I wasn't ready to go ahead, it didn't actually matter. It was always going to send me to the next part of the game, right? It doesn't matter. It's looping here in its entirety, and it will keep looping if you don't say yes or no, but it's always going to move you on whether you say yes or no. So what we want to do is place things into containers to say, if you do this, then go to this whole new section. If you do this, go to this whole other section. And we can't do it if we just use line after line after line. So let's see what else you should do if you don't do it like that.